wish I could see how computers really work. Computers see everything as ones and zeros. Even me? What's happening? Where am I? You're inside your computer. You said you wanted to see how they work. Uh, couldn't you just tell me? Now what? To get around the computer world, you're going to need to speak binary. What's binary? Binary is a system of numbers that has only two digits, one and zero. No twos, or threes, or fours, or fives? Nope. Just two kinds of numbers, one and zero. Why would you get rid of all the other numbers? The binary system is very useful in electronics because you can use the ones and zeros to stand for on and off. Like flipping a switch? Exactly. Imagine zero stands for off and one means you've switched it on. Okay. I know it can be confusing because you come from a decimal world. Decimals? We have 10 fingers. So we get used to counting by tens. That's what decimal means. Deci means 10. Like how decade means 10 years? Right. So when you count up on your fingers, you're counting digits. Each finger stands for one. I know how to count to 10 using my fingers. Let's count together. But start with zero, no fingers. Zero, zero one, one, two, two three, three Four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine ten. ten. Good. What happened when you got to the last digit? I said ten. Right. But notice that you used two numbers to stand for that. A one and a zero. You put a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. Oh yeah, I guess I did. The same thing happens when you get to 99 and then 100. You put a one in the hundreds place, a zero in the tenths place, and a zero in the ones place. Well, that only seems natural. You'll see, Topher, that we do something really similar in the binary system. Oh, okay, okay, I trust you. Sounds weird, though. Zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, one. Now let's try counting in the binary system. Remember, you can only use ones and zeros, no other numbers. I'm really not sure how to do this, but I'll try. First, no switch is lit up. Zero. Good. Now light up one switch. One. Yes. Now let's light up two switches. Two. I mean, no, wait. I, I don't know. I can't use a two. That's right. So we move to the next place and we put a one there, just like going from nine to ten in the decimal system. So I think it would be one, zero. That stands for two? Yes. Good, Topher. Let's light up another switch. One, one. That stands for three. Yes. Now another switch. Move that one. So now it's one, zero, zero. That's four. Good. Turn on another switch. One, zero, one. That's five. What would be six? One, one, zero. Seven. One, one, one. I like that one. Me too. How about eight? We have to move that one to the next place. So one, zero, zero, zero. Good. Nine. One, zero, zero, one. Yes. Ten. One, zero, one, zero. Perfect. You did it, Topher. You counted to 10 in binary. But, Uka, what is all this counting in binary for? This is how you store information in a computer. The state of every switch, whether it's on or off, is stored as a binary digit, 
zero or one. We call binary digits bits for short. We put the two words together. Binary digit. <laughs> I get it. Bit binary digit. <laughs> and we usually store them in groups of eight called bytes. Eight bits to a byte. Huh. Okay. But, Uka, is there a faster way to do this than just counting up switches one by one? I'm glad you asked, Topher. The whole point of using binary is that it's very fast. So let's learn the fast way of converting between decimal numbers and binary numbers. Yay! Ha uh ha! -huh. Yeah! Calm down, Topher. You need to concentrate to understand this. I'm concentrating. This is my concentrating face. First, it helps to know the powers of two. How powerful can two be? It's just a little number. No, Topher. The powers of two. Have you seen numbers with exponents? Like this. Two to the zero power is one. Two to the first power is two. Two to the second power is the same as two times two, which equals four. Two to the third power is the same as two times two times two, which equals eight. So two to the fourth power is two times two times two times two, which equals 16. Very good, Topher. What's two to the fifth power? Two times two times two times two times two equals 32. Two to the sixth? Two times two times two times two times two times two equals 64. Okay, I think you have the idea. So let's start converting. First, let's convert from binary numbers to decimal. To do this, we add up all the places. Each place that has a one in it stands for a power of two. Remember, the first place is the zeros place. Here's our first example. Okay. The binary number 101. In decimal, that equals two to the zero, which equals one, plus nothing for the two to the one place, plus two to the second equals four. Add it all together, one plus four equals five. Huh. Next example, one, one, one. To make it a decimal number, add up two to the zero equals one, plus two to the one equals two, plus two to the two equals four. You get one plus two plus four equals seven. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Let's do one more example. This one's bigger, one, zero, one, zero, one. In decimal, that equals two to the zero equals one, plus nothing for the two to the one place, plus two to the two equals four, plus nothing for the two to the three place, plus two to the four equals 16. Add all that up together. One plus four plus 16 equals 21. Okay, Uka, I understand. But what about going in the other direction? What if I know a number in decimal, but I want to figure out what that is in binary? That's a little harder, but we can do it. Ready? Ready! Can we convert my favorite number? <laughs> Two. Why is that your favorite number? I don't know. I just like how it sounds. Okay, Topher. The first step is you subtract the largest power of two that is less than or equal to 42. Well, two to the fifth is 32, and two to the sixth is 64. 32 is the largest power of two that is less than or equal to 42. So that means we subtract 32. Good, put a one in that place of the binary number. So put a one in the two to the fifth place. Okay. Next, you subtract the next biggest power of two possible from the remainder. 42 minus 32 is 10. Two to the third is eight, and two to the fourth is 16. Eight is the largest power of two that is less than or equal to 10. So we subtract eight and get two left over. Right, and put a one in the two to the third place. We have two left over, which is two to the first. Good, 
So we put a one in the two to the one place. Let's fill in all the other places with zeros. So we get one zero one zero one zero. That was harder, Uka. <sighs> but we did it. <sighs> um, Uka, are you ready to go home yet? I think we should do a little more practice first. Oh! Zero, zero one, 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 zero, one, one, one. Are you proud of yourself? You learned something today. I feel great, Uka. I speak binary now. Ready to go home? Zero one 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 zero zero one zero one one zero zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one one. We may have overdone it. Now it's time to watch more videos from Subcratica Kids. Pick this one, or this one, or this one, or zero one one zero one one zero one one. Ah, whoa. <laughs> I'm turning into a computer. 